Marta intimorata, mother undefiled. Mary is a model for us in her sinlessness. She was as a pure lily, surrounded by the manure of the sinful world in which she lived. Only those who imitate her and become undefiled may enter the kingdom of heaven. It is through the sacrament of baptism and the repeated washing of our stained baptismal garment, through the sacrament of confession and our worthy reception of the Eucharist, that we may become undefiled. It was through Eve that sin entered the world, and we are told by St. Irenaeus that Mary, the new Eve, repairs all injury done by her mother's fall. For no sooner has she declared her fiat does the eternal Son of God become present in her chaste womb by the operation of the Holy Spirit. As she was immaculately conceived and remained undefiled by sin, it was fitting that she should keep her body free from all corruption even after death. Hence the teaching of the bodily assumption of Our Lady into heaven, defined as a dogma by Pope Pius XII in 1950. Throughout history, when Mary has graced the world with her presence in her various apparitions, she comes to heal us. Miracles are performed at her intercession in Lourdes or Notre Dame du Lot. She also comes to instruct us on how to become undefiled. Prayer and penance. We must repent of our sins and turn to the Lord once more, making reparation for our sins and the sins of the whole world. Let us reflect upon the world, upon the words she told the shepherd children, Sister Lucia and Saints Jacinta and Francisco at Fatima. Pray much and make sacrifices for sinners, for many souls go to hell because there is no one to make sacrifices for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.